Next on the news, the newest chapel in Queens is unveiled in a secular college. As numbers show young people are leaving the church, Queens College is bucking that trend, now opening a new chapel on campus. I'm Katie Vasquez and I'll have that story coming up. The Diocese of Brooklyn celebrates Catechetical Sunday by remembering one of the church's youngest catechists and a soon-to-be saint. The name of Our Lady graces a street in Brooklyn. The dedication part of a parish's 100th anniversary celebration. Plus, the Diocese of Brooklyn bathed in green over the weekend as the Great Irish Fair kicked off in Windsor Terrace. I'm Christine Persichetti. Current News starts right now. Students at a secular college are finding their faith on campus. During a time when most young people are losing their religion, students at Queens College are gaining faith. And as Currency's Katie Vasquez reports, it's led to a new chapel being dedicated by Brooklyn Bishop Robert Brennan. <laughs> Dozens of students gather for a midday mass on a Monday, taking a break from their busy new schedules at Queens College to welcome a new chapel at the school's Newman Center. Brooklyn Bishop Robert Brennan, who blessed the altar of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel, said it's a sign of faith at the secular college. They dedicated themselves to making a place beautiful for God. He spoke to... At a time when, according to research, most young people are leaving the faith. Queens College is bucking that trend. Having a lot of students here, um, that surprises me, honestly. Young people have been gathering at the Catholic Center since it was spruced up last year. It's so beautiful. Like, if you should have seen before and now, it's, it's a difference. The space, part of an ongoing effort by Queens College's Catholic ministry to keep the students connected to their faith. One of our key challenges is to make people know that we're here for them. And when we meet the young people where they are, we have the chance to draw them in. Among the features of the new chapel includes this altar, made and donated by St. Leo parishioner Anthony Gonzalez. I think the greatest thing is using my talents for um, something that's for God's glory. Every part of this sacred space was designed with students in mind to give them a place to pray and find peace during their hectic schedules. We hope that chapel could be a pivotal role for our students and, and others in the future to come in and check out. Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel will remain open for students five days a week during school hours. In Flushing, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. As Katie mentioned, college years are when most young people leave the faith. According to Pew Research, 79% of former Catholics left the church before the age of 23. Furthermore, the Public Religion Research Institute says 90% of nuns, those are people without any religion, left before the age of 29. Earlier this year, Katie spoke with one Queens College student who says it was while on campus that he rediscovered his love of God. She has that story from Flushing. Four days a week, Noel Guzman attends Mass at the Newman Center on Queens College's campus. But that is only one stop for Noel. He says he's attending Mass seven days a week at various other churches. Yeah, whenever I can, I try to squeeze in two a day, just try to have my time in peace with God. The college student admits he wasn't always so devout. Although he had received the sacraments of baptism and communion, his family didn't regularly attend church. Growing up, it was Catholic in name, not with practice. When he was a sophomore, a friend invited him to a Protestant Bible study. While Noel didn't feel connected to that faith, the experience did send him on a spiritual journey where he looked into Islam, Lutheran, and Greek Orthodox ideologies. And I remember adamantly researching the papacy. That was the biggest thing for me because that's one of the biggest divides between, you know, the West and the East, I'd say. Shortly after that, I signed up for confirmation classes and I was confirmed, thank God. In the beginning of everything. In the 23-year-old now helps the altar servers at Mary's Nativity, St. Anne Parish in Flushing. The pastor and Newman Center chaplain, Father Jose Diaz, says Noel is a role model for other young people. Yeah, we go to church, we do all these things, but when you 
kind of sit with it, you know, you make it a priority in your life to really discover this thing, which this faith, which is something beautiful. I think that's something that's admirable. His dedication also acknowledged by Brooklyn Bishop Robert Brennan. I'm inspired by him and by so many others, but I'm inspired when a young person um, maybe rediscovers or just discovers more deeply their Catholic faith. And Noel hopes he can inspire other young Catholics who may have lost their way. Despite of their concerns, they get that comfort and that confirmation that it is a true faith. Like it, it's beautiful, actually. At Queens College, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. The Diocese of Brooklyn remembering one of the church's youngest evangelizers during Catechetical Sunday. Call him. We ask your help and strength to lead us to Jesus. Brooklyn Auxiliary Bishop Raymond Cepetto used a relic of Blessed Carlo Putis, an Italian teen who used his technical skills to talk about the Eucharist, to bless a new room at Incarnation Catholic Academy in Queens Village. Bishop Cepetto also blessed the school's religion teachers and parish catechists during Mass, whose important work he highlighted in his homily. homily. They have been entrusted with the task of assisting the parents in helping the children understand that Jesus is God. They are going to instruct the children about God and God's love for them, and they're going to instruct the children about how much Jesus loves them, how much he proved that love by his sacrifice on the cross, and they're going to teach the children about what it means to be a follower of Jesus. Incarnation Jesus also said, held tours of the academy for everyone present. Okay, Sunday okay. also marked the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, and Catholics celebrated the occasion on the streets of Queens. Bishop Brennan presided over a procession by parishioners of Our Lady of Sorrows Church in Corona, where they prayed while carrying a statue of the 19th century Marian apparition. The title, Our Lady of Sorrows, focuses on our Blessed Mother's suffering during the passion and death of our Lord. The Blessed Mother also graced a street in Howard Beach, but in a different way. At 159th Street and 101st Street, you'll now find Our Lady of Grace Way, which was unveiled by Bishop Brennan this weekend. His Excellency was on hand to celebrate the church's 100th anniversary mass, which included a new crowning. Our Lady of Grace was established as a diocesan parish in 1924. After years of parishioners traveling from Howard Beach to Ozone Park for mass and having to arrive late and leave early, due to bad train schedules. Now to the latest on the investigation into another apparent assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. It happened over the weekend at Trump's West Palm Beach, Florida Golf Club. U.S. Secret Service agents opened fire after they saw a man with a gun near the golf course while Trump was playing. The suspect, Ryan Wesley Routh, has been charged with federal gun crimes. Trump was not hurt. This is the second apparent attempt on Trump's life in a matter of months, the first one at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania in July. Current News reached out to U.S. bishops for comment, but we haven't heard back. After the Pennsylvania incident, the president of the USCCB said, together with my brother bishops, we condemn political violence. He went on to say, we also pray for our country and for an end to political violence, which is never a solution to political disagreements. Finally tonight, it's not March yet, but Irish eyes are already smiling in Brooklyn. The bagpipes played at the 43rd annual Great Irish Fair this past weekend in Windsor Terrace. This year, the event was held on the grounds of Holy Name Parish. Bishop Brennan kicked it off with a mass, and Monsignor Sean Ogle, vicar for clergy in the Diocese of Brooklyn, was honored. All proceeds of the Great Irish Fair go to Catholic schools. You can read more about this year's fair in this week's tablet. The paper featured a special pullout edition that had everything you need to know about the event, including more information about the 2024 Colleen Queen and the honorees. You can see all of that by picking up the paper at your local church. But if you want to support the tablet and Catholic journalism, consider becoming a member. You can do so by going online to thetablet.org slash become a dash member. That is this current news update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news. Hope to see you again next time. <laughs>